PK in the universe here, and I'm back again with another video. And today I want to talk about the sinking city. That's right, the sinking city. I have covered this on the channel a little bit before. I have a little playlist of all my videos talking about the sinking city. In fact, I'm using gameplay footage from one of those videos where I just played it for a little bit. Sinking city, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a game from Frogwares. Frogwares is often known for making their Sherlock Holmes games. They're a company based out of Ukraine. They have been developing games literally in a war zone over the last couple of years and uh, they had had a dispute with a company called uh, Big Ben Interactive which became Nacon and uh, basically the gist of it was that uh, Nacon claimed that they owned the rights to publish their game which um, there was a dispute between that and it'd been going on for a couple of years now I'd covered it on this channel before so I want to do a quick follow-up because um, on January 2nd it was announced that Frogwares is now the sole publisher of this game. They were the publisher for the Switch version, the PS5, and the um, Xbox Series version, but they weren't for the Xbox One, PS4, and Steam version, but they also had one on Games Planet. Um, they had a DRM free version on Games Planet. This game was also, I think, on Epic, I wanna say. Um, at the time it was not available on GOG, good old games, but now it is actually. There is actually a version now on GOG that they are publishing now that they have the rights back. I was a person who got this on Nintendo Switch. I also have the Games Planet version. Interestingly enough, the Switch version is only 8 gigs, whereas the Games Planet version is like 35 gigs and has 11 different files that you have to download. That's how I know this is actually a DRM free version. But what's interesting with uh, Games Planet is for the updated version, they're going to be issuing Steam keys to existing owners, and they're currently selling Steam keys actually on Games Planet. Since it's a DRM free version, you'd think they'd be sending us update codes to that DRM free version itself, or even sending us a you know a, a code for the GOG version. So. I do find that kind of interesting, but at the same time, I kind of understand because they do sell Steam keys on Games Planet. For example, when I bought the Sherlock Holmes collection on, from Frogwares, it was on the Games Planet. It was all Steam keys. So it kind of makes sense. But uh, yeah, I guess I would have preferred to get the GOG version, but maybe something will change with that. I don't know. They still haven't officially said one way or another which versions we're getting, but I assume it's going to be Steam keys. But uh, Anyways, yeah, I'm really glad to see that Frogwares finally has the sole publisher now of The Sinking City. So, because I know this had been a huge thing and they were obviously pretty upset that this was still going on, you know, and that basically the gist of it was that Nacon was not paying them for copies sold and they were still continuing to sell it. But uh, now that has been remedied, I guess, and they can continue to sell their own game. So... I think that's a huge win, and I'm glad to see that's what's happening. But anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? Comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and stay awesome in this universe. Thanks. Bye.